Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Please be mindful, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And this is just a Virgo channel for Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hi everybody in the chat. Hope you're all doing well. All right, so we're going to get into your reading from the time that I'm recording this video, October 18th through November 18th, okay? And if there's an extended reading, I will let you know, and I'll post the link in the description box below, okay? And those readings are only $11.11. .11. All right, let's get into this, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What does Virgo need to know in love for this time period, October through November? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, wow, you got girl talk again. <laughs> if you didn't listen to yesterday's reading, go ahead and do that. Okay, girl talk, sunglasses, photograph. Okay, interesting. Okay, some of you... Some of you might have, okay, I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it as like an energy, okay? Um, there is an energy of communicating with other people at this time, okay? Having fun, being single, spending time with friends, possibly even moving on or having already moved on. But there's also an energy of watching, looking, and stalking okay um at somebody's photos somebody is missing another person um they're thinking about the past want to make new memories with with another person um definitely in nostalgic mode here um, but i do feel like this might be a case of two people perhaps not connecting uh, or not having met yet, or just being single, okay, and being in separation also, okay, but there is an element of somebody's looking at somebody's photos, okay, it could be you, Virgo, could be another person, um, could be some of you may be trying to move on from someone or another person is trying to move on from you or accepting there was a separation or a breakup or something ended, living in the moment, being happy, single, spending time with friends, but still uh, looking at photos, um, still thinking of another person, still missing someone, watching, focusing outward, not really focusing on themselves. Okay, so let's get into this reading. It's always something with you, Virgo. Okay, Taurus energy, the Hierophant. Ooh, and Page of Cups. So somebody is definitely coming in with some kind of an apology to have a new start. I feel like the Hierophant is very traditional energy, values, conformity. I, I feel like somebody here wants to apologize about something that might have happened in a relationship or in a committed type of a situation, a marriage for some, okay? So let me get a clarifying card here, but there's also a communication and a message coming out. Um, now somebody, you might receive, you might receive a picture from someone they might or you might send one to somebody else i do feel like though for some of you if you, okay the star somebody wants to heal a relationship so okay you might i'm just seeing someone either taking a selfie or putting a picture up of of themselves and or looking at another person's picture and getting turned on by it, <laughs> which I feel like someone is prompting, is being prompted to apologize and try to heal a connection 
here, okay? Uh, this is renewal or rejuvenate a connection, okay? Um, now there's Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Taurus. This may, it feels more like an intention um, behind a reach out or behind some type of loving communication, a loving message. So I do feel like either there's a picture or a loving message that comes in to you from another person. Okay. Um, and, and so there could be another person that you see a picture of them and they have glasses on or sunglasses. Okay. And I just got that song again, baby, baby, I'm a star. Um, by Prince. So I don't know, maybe you need to go listen to that. I don't know how it goes and I'm not going to play it, but they're just giving me that, that song again. Okay. Somebody, uh, it feels like accepting a challenge. Uh, I feel like somebody here views, I think it's, they view you as a challenge. Is that what you're saying? viewing you as a challenge and it's turning them on <laughs> okay interesting um so yeah there's there, i feel like there's somebody here who's standing in a crossroad at this point right now um they have a decision to make um they're they're at a crossroad they're confused they're not sure um if they should detach, stay detached, keep moving on, or if they should either just apologize, or I feel like there's an energy of somebody not wanting to let go or has not let go, let go yet of a relationship or a connection here. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Juggling. Um, profit and loss, making some kind of decision about what to do, really checking the emotions. Um, should I stay or should I go? That's what I'm hearing. Trying to move on, um, but either they have a photographic image in their mind of you, or they're actually looking at some photos. If you don't have any photos up or you don't have a, could if you had a connection with someone in the past and you created some photo memories in the past, uh, still looking at those photos. Yeah, so this kind of feels like somebody's on the fence a little bit. It's almost like one more try. I'm hearing give it one more try. Now, of course, Virgo, you know, obviously for some of you that may not resonate in the sense because some of you, what somebody else does does not mean you have to do also. Okay, we're taking a look at an energy, somebody else's energy. Um, you don't have to accept anything from anybody. Okay, that doesn't, it won't change your fate. You will change your fate, what you decide to do. But um, with this Piscean energy, we have a little Capricorn here. I feel like somebody is kind of like <clears throat> trusting their gut when making some kind of a decision. And what does their gut say? That you are like the number one, baby, you're a star. You are the number one person for them, okay? They want to do the right thing, come in and communicate and tell you some type of a truth and give you some kind of clarity. They want to tell you they're single. They want to tell you there isn't anybody else with them. They want to tell you they're doing well financially. Um, also, <clears throat> they're not relying on anyone. So I don't know if that was an issue in the past where somebody might have been financially um, dependent on someone else, and that might have played a role in some type of split or something along those lines. They may want to tell you that they have a job or that they're making a lot of money and they're doing very well, um, but also that they're on their own, okay? Also that they're on their own. All right, the death card just flew out. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio. Okay, oh yeah, <laughs> reconciliation for sure. So I feel like um, there's this awakening that's happening here with someone, okay? Um, 
they're very decisive about what they want and also that um they've let go or they've made changes in their life big changes huge changes okay um and part of the change that i feel like this person is going through or is making um the clarity i feel like is going to come to them this thursday the 20th uh, and the clarity is that um they're ready to release everything and explain every everything or something to you that's with this communication with this ace of swords um somebody is having is very clear in their thinking um, about what it is that they wish to do they're realizing the truth and what is their truth here okay that they have feelings for you very deep feelings here with the moon and i feel like this person might have been a bit moody up and down in their mood moods one minute up the next minute down there might have been a, a like a roller coaster energy in a connection with someone um you know where the the they weren't balanced. They were trying to find balance, you know. Um, I feel like somebody here basically was kind of like maybe up and down, in and out, a lot of energy like that with this person. It feels like somebody here is stabilized. And they also view you, since this is the Virgo card, as being very stable and independent, wanting to know also some curiosity um, how you are doing, if you are stable, if you are emotionally, physically, financially stable, all of that energy here, this is double Scorpio as well, or we should say double Pluto energy, okay, um, somebody could be birthday November 13th or November 20th, okay, all right, so this person is going to take a risk here with you and, and, and try to come in, maybe travel, um, communicate with you over the internet. Um, they just told me fool's gold, <laughs> I don't know what that means, or get themselves in a position to, um, I feel like November 10th might be significant for some of you, um, have a new beginning, free themselves, take a risk, just do it. That Nike symbol, I keep seeing, just do it. Okay. Uh, let me just take a look at you real quick. Okay. So, look, you're in this position where you want love. You want a new relationship. You want a new beginning. You want happiness. You want joy. Um, and I just heard for some of you, if you're already in a relationship with someone, I feel like this person is um, going to pop the question to you or at least tell you, like take a risk and tell you that what they want or where they see this going um, and, and what they want. And then, you know, it ends to a means to an end here. Okay, so for you, I feel like your cup will be running, oh, runneth over during this time period. All of this love, all of this celebration, romance, and it's all new, love, happiness, joy. A new beginning. Look at that. Okay, Knight of Cups. Yeah, th this is something I feel like you possibly, well, you definitely want this in your love life. Okay, proposal, admiration, love, affection, care. Um, an offer of some sort, maybe an initiation, an invitation. You want to be swept off your feet by someone or or uh, someone to be attracted to you or to be dating, um, gentleness. And I feel like um, you're, this is really all that you want when it comes to love. Like, the, like you want a new start, a new beginning. There is somebody coming in here, okay? Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a reconciliation situation. For some of you, there may be somebody who's been keeping an eye on you amongst a friend group or amongst, um, you know, a, a group of people who someone is showing your photograph to another person and someone's showing interest and uh, wants to have some type of new start with you. Um, the, like a new beginning, a new start. Okay, so you just had the world just flipped right out. I feel like some of you have like walked away from 2021. <laughs> At the end of 2021, you left something 
and you said that was it that was you you know like you weren't going in that direction in 2021 uh you you changed direction you walked away um some of you moved or you traveled you achieved something you accomplished you came to a point where okay yeah you came to a point where you said you know if i'm going to struggle i'm going to struggle based on my own decisions, not based on anybody else's decisions for me. Um, you owned your struggles. At the end of 2021, you went into 2022, like, okay, I've got my struggles, I'll do this myself, you know, whatever it was, financial struggles, whichever. So you had a change in circumstances for yourself going into the, the, the beginning of this year. Um, you had faced some hardships, emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever it was, you had some adversity. But I feel like you made a decision um, to take that upon yourself. Still, some of you decided, well, I think somebody's not going to offer what it is you need, and you may have walked away. And you knew you were going into your struggle. Okay. And for others, there was an offer that was made, but you just, you turned it down and you said you would rather just be single because you can do drama all by yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't know if someone was attached to any drama here. Um, and some of you might've been in a long distance relationship that just wasn't going anywhere. So you might've left it. And, but I feel like, you know, it's been hard for you. I mean, you're a trooper, you're a warrior. You have the nine of wands there. So there you are. Some of you are just kind of like burned out perhaps a little bit at this time or will be feeling that way going through this time period. But but you definitely have, there's a change of heart happening. Somebody's, I feel like someone's having a change of heart, either you or this person. Okay. And for others, there's love coming in. Definitely something that you've been wanting. But I do feel like you've been through a lot. You, you took up your arms and went through this um, struggle on your own. And you're kind of exhausted. Now I will say some of you may reconsider someone else from that's coming back um, with them kind of being more like, you know, uh, let's, you know, the truth is I love you and I can't stop thinking about you and I want to be with you and I messed up or I did this or I did that or we were both toxic and, you know, I want the healing with the star energy. I feel like some of you might get that and you might be standing here like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can get back in the ring with you again, you know, so you have a lot going on here yourself. You really, um, you may not be fully healed just yet. Some of you might be, and but you know what you're going to get into if you accept someone back. Um, I think it's all a matter of, again, somebody showing up with that bloody stump energy, you know, like they got to come in that way. Um, because you're broke, busted, and disgusted, some of you went through a really harsh 2022. And you're coming to the end of it, right? So Virgo, you're keeping your options open for sure. Um, and I know for some of you, this may not resonate. So just, just enjoy the reading. It may not be for you, but for others, I do feel like you are looking ahead regardless. If someone isn't going to return back to you, um, in the way you need them to, or isn't capable of meeting your needs, um, I feel like you're going to keep pressing forward. And keep looking out on the horizon while keeping an eye on your money, taking care of business. But I also feel like you haven't given up hope. Okay, you're still putting, you're still planting seeds to see what, what fruit comes back to you. Um, but I am actually going to go into the extended because I want to see what this person's energy will be. Um, if you were to accept them back and how things will go and also basically if you say yes to someone here I want I but I do if you give someone another chance I do want to see because I feel like someone here just I don't know the energy keeps playing out this way that someone just does not want to let go like or they're having a hard time letting go they may 
make themselves seem like they're having a good time and that they're happy being single or being without you, but I feel like they're hiding that with the sunglasses. You know, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Um, and even if they're not wearing sunglasses, this is still an energy of like, I'm hiding the truth in my eyes. And the truth in my eyes is that um, this person feels like they can't stop thinking about you and they're missing you, okay? Um, so let me go into extended. I know this is a little short, but I have to get my butt to the gym. I have a trainer. <laughs> he gets mad if I'm late. So I'm going to go into the extended. And you guys, there'll be a link in the description box below to see what the message is going to be with this person, how things will turn out in the long run. I think we'll look at like the next six months. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Short and sweet and simple. And I will be back here tomorrow for another reading. All right, you guys, make sure you click that like and subscribe button on your way out. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you.